Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about iOS 18, and I hate to be the guy to talk about iOS 18 in a negative way, although I don't feel like this video is going to be negative, but more of a realistic view of what to expect with Apple's next major update, iOS 18. I just feel like every year we look forward to the first beta for the next major update, and of course, this year we're looking forward to iOS 18, and somehow most users continue to get disappointed, but this year iOS 18 is being hyped a lot, and I guess our expectations are really high and I wanted to sort of give you guys a quick breakdown of some of the latest news and rumors of features and things that are coming to the iPhone with iOS 18 based on reliable sources okay these are going to be new things that have been said so let's go ahead and dive right in now before we get to some of the latest details as into what we can expect so far from iOS 18 some of the latest rumors I want to talk about a new system that Apple is about to start rolling out a big change for retail stores here in the US called Presto now Presto so within Apple is a new system that is rumored to be coming to Apple Store soon, and Apple employees will be able to update iPhones wirelessly while they're still in the box. Now, obviously, this allows Apple to patch any security flaws within the operating system or add any features with the latest software updates. So a tablet-like device will be used within Apple retail stores while the iPhone is still sealed. Apple will be able to use Presto within Apple stores, update the iPhone, and then the customer will be able to get the latest OS, the latest security patch without the customer even having to open the box or update the iPhone themselves. Again, Apple employees will be able to use Presto as early as this month, and it should roll out entirely across the U.S. by the end of the summer, according to Mark Gurman. But yeah, Presto is something that I wanted to talk about because if you ever buy a new iPhone and it turns out that it's running the latest OS after this month, that means that Apple has been using Presto to update the iPhone within the box without having to open it before they give it to you in order to provide you with the latest security patches and the latest software features and enhancements, which is a pretty cool thing to do. I think Presto is going to be a very welcome addition to Apple Store and retail stores in order to provide users with the latest security and the latest features. So now let's go ahead and talk about iOS 18 and some of the latest rumors and new features that Apple is working on for the iPhone to come later this year with iOS 18. And now I feel like this software update specifically has been hyped a lot. It's been called one of the biggest updates to be coming to the iPhone in iOS history. That's a big statement. And earlier on last year, November, December, we started hearing some rumors of some features that could be coming to the iPhone. So yes, I know a lot of you guys are waiting for this one. The first beta will most likely happen the first or second week of June at WWDC as per usual. But let's talk about some of the features that we already know, right? Because RCS support has been confirmed to be coming to the iPhone with iOS 18. This is a giving. Apple has already confirm this so this is not a rumor Apple will be adding RCS support to the iPhone with iOS 18. Now something else that we heard is that Apple is planning to bring hearing aid support for AirPods with iOS 18 as well so I'm not sure if Apple will release new AirPods to support this new feature that's rumored to be coming to the iPhone with iOS 18 and AirPods but yeah hearing aid support for AirPods could be coming with iOS 18 and a new AirPods firmware update later this year. Now something else we already know is that Apple has invested heavily in AI this year and this is going to be the year for AI for the iPhone. Apple is now in talks with Google and ChatGPT to bring a lot of those technologies over to the iPhone with iOS 18. Now when this rumor first came about when Mark Gurman first mentioned this a lot of you guys were questioning if Apple had something in house or not or they couldn't get it done on their own that's why they were reaching out. I believe that Apple is building upon what they already have so they most likely have their own AI technology Technology. They want to reach out to ChatGPT and Google to make it as strong as possible. Now, believe it or not, iOS 17 already has a bunch of AI integration. We have personal voice. Your iPhone can sound exactly like you. If you go into the photos, it can recognize animals, plants, food. I mean, suggestions within the operating system. There's a lot of AI integration within iOS 17, but iOS 18 is rumored to take this to the next level, and I can't wait to see what Apple is working on, and hopefully... Hopefully this is the year for Siri. I know a lot of you guys are hoping for a better Siri. With all this AI talk, I hope that Siri does not disappoint, fingers crossed. But yeah, a lot of AI integration will be happening this year with iOS 18. Now let's talk about some of the latest rumors in terms of customization and designs that could be coming to the iPhone with iOS 18. Now, Mark Gurman recently reported that iOS 18 will provide users with a more customizable home screen. And Mac rumors recently reported that iOS 18, according to their sources, 
will allow users to place icons anywhere on the home screen. So right now, obviously, if you take a look at your icons on the home screen, if you delete one, obviously, it just rolls over to the side. So for example, if I delete right here the podcast application, let's go ahead and delete that, it'll roll over and it won't create that empty space. So according to the latest reports over on Mac Rumors, you'll be able to place icons anywhere on the home screen. And yes, I hear a lot of you guys mentioning we can do this on Android for years. We can do this on jailbroken iPhones for years. But yeah, more customizable home screen. That is one of the things that could be coming to the iPhone. But I know what a lot of users really want is the ability to theme and customize and change the icons on the home screen without having to go through shortcuts. So this is a jailbroken iPhone here. If I enable this option here, I can change even the icons right there. They look round. I can turn that off. Obviously, I can choose a theme here. So let's go ahead here and change the icons back to normal. And let's choose a theme here. And let me show you how easy it is to customize the icons here with this jailbroken device. Go back to my home screen and I have a new set of icons in iOS. This is iOS 14, by the way. So yeah, this is an old device running an old operating system. And it just takes me a few clicks to change from the standard icons to a more customized look on the iPhone. I think Apple really needs to make this a lot easier where users can even buy themes, perhaps a theme store. I think this will open an entire new revenue for designers and I know a lot a lot of people really want to customize their icons with just one click without having to go through the actual shortcuts and things like that so yeah I think that if Apple continues to expand on the home screen of iPhone with iOS 18 other than just allowing users to place icons anywhere but actually allowing users to customize and change the icons and things like that with just one click just like I showed you I think iOS 18 will be a major hit in terms of customization for the home screen and even bring cards right like on the lock screen so we have the lock screen here we can set different uh, themes and cards and setups right why well, not bring this over to the home screen where you can customize different home screens on your iPhone with iOS 18 I think would be a great idea but there you guys have it some of the latest rumors suggest that Apple will allow users to customize the home screen of iPhone hopefully this means different size widget hopefully fingers crossed this doesn't disappoint right hopefully different size widgets the ability to change the icon simply without shortcuts and of course having those icons rearranged on the home screen however you want so there you guys have it let me know what you think about ios 18 so far thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace